If you've been following along in this chapter, you know that taking notes on a tablet PC is pretty simple here in OneNote. In pen mode, you just simply print or write like you would in a real paper notebook. Now it's time to put OneNote to the test. One of the great things about OneNote and using a tablet PC is that when you do take notes, if you need to share those notes and you want to print them or send them off via email, you can first convert them to text so that people will receive something that's easy to read. If you're like me with some pretty bad handwriting, this is an excellent feature. And we're going to see if OneNote can handle our messy handwriting. So you can see I've opened up a notebook here. It's called UC Book One. It's in the Lesson 5 folder of the exercise files if you've got them. Now, if you don't, that's okay. You can open up a new page in any section of any notebook. You can see here I'm in the to-do list. I've got a new page here called Floor Plan List. And I've already written in some notes. Main event, you can see here, and I've got some notes with dashes in front of them. We'll see how OneNote handles that. And maybe I want to be able to add a little bit more to this. So in this case, I might, just to stay lined up, you can see this isn't too bad, turn on the notepad or what we call the rule lines effect by clicking the show hide rule lines button right here on our writing tools. You can see how that makes it a little bit easier to stay in line. Now I'm going to go back to my pen here and just add one more note. So I'm going to grab my stylus and right down here below where it says choose furniture, I'm going to choose to write this time, not print, select uh, lunch table setup. So we might have some options here at this user conference for a lunch table setup. So now I've got four points per se underneath the title. We'll see how these things line up when we convert them. And there's a couple different ways to convert text. You can select it first or just go ahead and have any text converted just by not selecting anything and using the convert to text button. You can see that right up here on my writing tools toolbar. And if I was to click this now any text that I've handwritten on this page will be converted. If you want to do it piece by piece just to see the effect, you can use the lasso tool. The lasso select tool allows us to go in and select just the text that we want to convert to text. You can see when I've highlighted that title, for example, now all I have to do is click that button. If you don't happen to have the writing tools toolbar visible from the view menu, you can actually go up to the tools menu and you'll find it there as well. Convert handwriting to text. So give it a click and you can see main event now appears. Now with nothing selected here, I'm just going to go back to my pen tool as though I were writing and I've just left off. I haven't selected the remaining points. Let's see what happens when we click the convert to handwriting uh, to text button right here on our writing tools toolbar. You can see everything on the page is now converted and as I move down into this area with my text tool, so let's go up and select that. You can see it's actually all part of one note and it's a list. It's kind of like a bulleted list with dashes here. That was all kind of figured out by OneNote as it analyzed my handwriting. If I check the spelling, everything looks good. It did an excellent job of recognizing my messy handwriting and turning it into a nice looking note that I can share with others now if I wanted to. For example, later on when we talk about sending notes via email, this is an easily legible note that people will be able to read. Or when it comes to printing, probably want to convert it to text before I send it to the printer and start handing out copies to people. When you're done, just click outside the selected area to see the end result. So that's how easy it is to take handwritten text and convert it over to typewritten text here in OneNote.